on the back. I was able to get about as many warriors from Strand as you wanted, and more weapons and extra supplies too. Since Bognir died, everyone has been. I was saying that Varwish went to Strand have returned. The governor gave us most of what we wanted. Good enough, much resistance. Some, I don't think he was happy about us buying his fighters using his own money. He insisted we take on a lackey to watch over his property. Should I bring this hand? Unfortunately, as there is wrong, so now he's the prince on a peace mission, the alliance with Rot. Write my father and tell him that one Val died, the alliance is over. Either take us through the wandering road or do your job and sort us a dredge. <laughs> I could crush this I could crush that boy's skull with one hand. If Luden wouldn't deter you'd have to deal with it. Alright, let's go. Um, tell them we cover the mountain and dredge bodies. Hell yeah. Right. Know him well, didn't you? Oh well, I don't know. I remember him. Always rushing around with some important business, but I never knew him. Never got a chance to talk much. Longer than I did in any case. When he spoke, a vowel listened and wrote that. I could use some help here. I've seen worse. They respect you for your ability to swing an axe. They need to respect you for your actions. But you're not talking to the right about. Morgir's got some skill there. Most I can do is hold a quill. Alright. Thanks, buddy. Um, okay. Let's take a look at our heroes. We have some renown. Let's see what we got heroes. Put some level ups we can do. Um, let's drop it into shield break. I think we've got, yeah. That small gear. In the hills, more dredge. No more than a dozen though. We could just keep, we could just as easily pass by as rush up there to stop. Doesn't dredge over towards Strand, he says. You asked him where he started to care about Strand. I don't. I thought you did. Uh, I want the I want the renown to deal with it ourselves. The caravan stops and waits where you lead a small detachment up to the hillside to take care of the dredge quickly. You tell Luden to stay by the caravan, he folds his arms and muttered something about treating like a trial. That hurts the body, he can act lost. He's a human in a world of uh, Oh my god, there's actually quite a lot of them. Uh, they're all the small dudes, which is nice. Do we rush? Okay, let's rush down this guy first. Let's do it like this. Group in this side. Yeah, do two damage. Finish him off before he gets to. Alright. Let's get ourselves kind of prepared. Ready to take the fight to them. Chances any. Let's go, Frogman. Hey, 
Hey, three damage. Summoning about it, I thought I'm hoping I'd spin, who doesn't? That's fine, let's just uh just do some damage. Spin might actually kill the remainder, if we're lucky. Five armor damage in one hit is pretty good. That's what we needed. These guys are pretty dead now. <laughs> Sir Noxic, hello. Hello, Mr. Man of the Banner Saga variety. Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> do you also love this franchise as much as I do? Those that are left are not going to be getting a lot of uh, damage out now, which is nice. Kill that. Yeah, cool. Pretty much over at this point. We can... There. And then, yeah, the remainder will be able to finish off here. Let's, uh... That doesn't really matter where we put him. Oh, I can't. You can't, get, you can't burn willpower, can you? That's a shame. That's right, he's got one health left, he's not gonna do anything. Uh, in fact, Eric can kill him. Very nice, very nice. Eric can get promoted. And we got enough renown to do it as well. Which will, uh, we got enough round to promote him and then have a little bit left over as well, which is nice. Uh, so next time we rest, we'll do that. Hello, Luden. You can hear Luden's hard-booted trot as you set up camp for the first day and brace yourself. Can we speak as equals? We can try. It seems clear to me you plan to kill a lot of dredge along the way, am I right? You're not wrong. Now listen carefully. Don't assume only the Vile can fight. Do you understand me? This is my banner we fly to Rohan. The banner of Avarin. I insist on joining the battle. I'm almost got into your first encounter. I'm ready for more. Whatever you like, please. And I expect... And... Uh... I expected more resistance. From Vognir, maybe. They tell me... You were his kin, dear? Is this why you're in charge now? Some sort of next of kin? Vile thing? Don't you take his own... Don't you take on his responsibilities? That doesn't mean I care what happens to you. You better start. We'll both be kings someday. It's the last thing. That's the last thing I need to think about right now. <laughs> Luden looks as if you just punched uh, as though you just punched yourself in the face. He heads back to his tent before saying whatever was on his mind. Desertion lets you add more willpower. Yeah. Do that in a sec. I just want to 
level up some heroes, first of all. Eric, you can get promoted. Hello. Um, give me the ability to break more armor. I, it's a, such a helpful thing. So you've actually got uh, these, uh, these two now in the party as well. Yes, uh, and Eden. Yes, is pretty awesome. I like her. Let's meet her. Find out what her deal is. Yes, sir. Right? She watches you approach with her head tilted back and points a thumb towards Newton's tent. No, here for you. Oh. Can we talk? Yes, sir. Shakes her head no. A smile on her lips. Eyelids light. Why not? I don't. In those two curse <laughs> curiously contradictory words, you get the impression. She has a beautiful obsidian voice, and this might be a complete waste of time. You don't talk? No. You do though. I don't. She smiles warmly, clearly enjoying her game. She raises an eyebrow. Vile and fire don't get along. All you get is a shrug. If you're going to use them. She pulls an arrow. With a flicker of wrist you don't quite catch, suddenly a bird combusts in the tree behind you, and it falls to the ground, smouldering. Half the camp turns to watch. Don't tell me not to. You're Ludin's bodyguard? No, he's mine. Before you have a chance to be confused, she cackles, abrupt and loud, then looks slightly embarrassed. You're his personal guard, though. Her expression changes to, of course. How did you end up with someone like Ludin? Luck. Well, this has been fun. He crosses her arm, a hand on her chin, and cocks her head to the side. Until next time, yes, sir. Hark on. You stop, look over your shoulder. She puts a forefinger to her lips with a soft shh. You depart, not quite sure what to make of that. I ask how you're dealing with Vogner's death, but I already know the answer. Do you? Steady old Mogir, which is good. Most of us, most, I know most of these vile, but they're not under my command. They came to follow Vogner. <laughs> Tell you the truth, I wouldn't want to be in your position either. Oh uh, yeah, that would suck. It'd literally be awful. Anything you'll tell me about the caravan? Throw together this many vile, half of them want to hit each other, the rest want to be left alone. Anyone I should keep an eye on? There's a couple of clan leaders trying to show off for each other. No big deal, I've got it under control. Fighters we just got from Strand aren't bad, but they're unruly. Give it a few days. There are a few moaning about fighting for you instead of Vognir. Those are the ones to worry about. What about Ludin's men? They don't want to hear anything from me, I know that. Any problems? Could be. Ludin's pet Val named Bercy. I'm not sure uh, where he came from or what his deal is. The bastard knows how to fight, but there is something I don't like about him. His girl in red is scary too. Yes, sir. Probably the best fighter Ludin's got, to be honest. I overheard some Val call her the witch. Why? Flaming arrows, I think. It's a good trick. But the fire accepts our vow, accepts, up, upsets our vow more than the dredge. It still doesn't make sense. Which? They're not scholars, Harkon. I think they're mostly afraid of her. That does make more sense. Time to find out. Sweet. Goodbye. Alright, let's bounce. Over here, a conversation while marching alongside the warriors. I'm happy to stomp some slags as much as the next part, but I didn't tire sight. I didn't join out the thick orders from Harkon, says one. Apparently, he doesn't realize you. Apparently, he doesn't realize we're getting shot. Not willing to die for him either. Let's challenge the Vile to a fight. You know who you take orders from? Uh, who will you take orders from? Personally, Bogner is dead. We 
can decide right now. Raise your, you raise your fist, he does the same, reluctantly. His best shot's not bad, but you've had a lot worse. You grab him by the horn and swing his entire massive frame through the air and plant him into the ground. What's his name? You ask the companions. Gris. Take care of Gris, you reply. You hear them laughing as misfortune is falling around. Extra renown is always good, you will always take that. A small gathering of tents coming to view. Uh, a group of merchants, from the look of it, they ask you what you're doing here, or count out at the godstone ahead, we told you, leaving an offering to Delgir. Uh, as one does, this expression turns, dredge starts appearing out of nowhere. Some of us stayed, thought the godstone would be safe, but damned if I know why. We've been dodging them since we left. Ask if they have anything to trade. Not much, he replies. Anything of value we left at the godstone. I've never seen as many vial in one place. You have to deal with the dredge. We can part with supplies, supplies if you need them. Uh, yes, please. I'd give freely. Clearing the roads is more than we could ask. I have one request, though. My wife's brother stayed at the godstone. You'll know him by a necklace with many gold rings. If you see him, say we're safely in Strand. Hey, more supplies. Always a good thing. Never say no to more supplies. We have 66 days worth of supplies right The caravan slows unexpectedly. unexpectedly. Word travels down the line and then more gear. And then to more gear. Who tells you? Dredge. Know that we're coming. Probably saw us back at Vertifel and did their usual lurking. Could have been bad if we plotted into them, but we saw them first. Dredge watch you. Wait until they see what to do. What you do. When's the last time you commanded a few hunter attack on? Ask more gear. Don't overthink it. The warriors can take care of themselves. Alright. So this is a decision we make. This is kind of the, the bigger battles. Um, when you come across more enemies than your party can handle, you'll engage in war. To give uh, give your army armies orders fit to the situation, but be prepared uh, to get your own hands dirty too. By making the battle easier for yourself, you'll end up with higher casualties. Or, if you take a burden on yourself, much harder battle, but save more lives. If you're ever desperately outnumbered, Maybe best to run, avoiding battle completely. Dredge line the battlefield, weapons drawn, a fight seems uh, inevitable. You take a quick head count, there must be at least 700, uh, fuck, seven hundred and four hundred and seventy six of them. You have, yeah, we fucking, we yeah, we outnumber them hugely. Um, from here, you can see nervous glances amidst the enemy ranks. It looks like there's a good chance to press your advantage. Fucking charge, boys. You consider your options. Taking your trusted allies and leading the charge, battering down the enemy. It will throw you up against the thickest battle where the fighting is most dangerous, but there's a strong chance we can save lives. So rush into battle, let's go! Also, it'll give us more uh, renown, which is exactly what we want. Yes, sir, you go first. Uh, how come I'm Okay. Shall I can burn? Close enough. Alright, let's move first. Probably a risky move. Frog boy, Let's put the hurt. Okay, big man's getting pretty wounded, which is exactly what we want here. That's bad. Spears can attack one away, which is nice. They make pretty effective kind of battle lines. Uh, 
this is probably bad for Eric, but whatever. He can deal five armor damage, which is what we need for the video. We really need to start like, chipping away armor uh, as much as we possibly can. Uh, she needs to run. gonna be next. Hopefully he doesn't just chase her. Yeah, there we go. That's a shame. Not all that unexpected, but a shame. Okay. Ah, he's running. We need to stop him because if that uh, ends up going off, so it's a, it's a one turn like, charge up thing. Um, but if he goes off, he'll end up summoning Dredge. Uh, definitely don't want that. Yeah, for sure. That'll do. We'll kill him off here. So he can't summon anymore. numbers where we can. We're actually doing alright here. Oh, actually, it's okay. Yeah, it wouldn't actually didn't, wouldn't have really mattered which one we killed off first, I think. It would have pretty much been the same regardless. Okay, so we'll take a hit, that's fine. Right, close enough, right? Really. You can, though. Just like chipping away at his health. Start making sure he can't hurt people. There we go. is being pushed back all the way down the line. Uh, let's kill a few more as they flee. Whilst we can, we kind of want to take this opportunity to, like, take out as many as possible. This is probably going to lead us with, leave us with more casualties, but if we end up getting more renown, that's fine. Like, we'll happily basically trade casualties for Eric is in trouble here. Newton took a huge hit. Uh, fuck, there's no good position for you. That's right. Just go there. Put some armor off the big boss. Oh, that's rough. Although, 15 damage here is pretty good. 10 damage here is pretty good, I should say. That's fine. This guy's dead. This guy's basically dead as soon as he kind of steps up here. We'll have Frogman kill him. Between these two, like this, this shouldn't. The rest of this fight shouldn't be too difficult. Apart from you're really hurt, hey. That's a shame. Whatever. Harkon is uh, pretty much going to carry the rest of this fight for us, I think. He's gonna kill this one here. 
can still win. Like I said, casualty for renown isn't terrible. It's not a terrible trade-off. It's definitely definitely one I'm willing to pay uh, this early in the game. Padded undercoat as well. Took no casualties for the rest of our men as well, which is really nice. And a bunch of renown, which is exactly what we need. Rest up there, so we can heal up a bit, heal up some of our fighters. And, uh... Percy. What's a vial doing working for Luden? What's a vial doing working for another vial? What difference does it make? Alright, no worries, bud. Alright, let's, uh, we can upgrade, probably upgrade some people after those fights. And, like, the injuries were a few days, that's that was so worth it. Give him the extra shield break. Give him the extra armor. What does this do? Plus one armor? Why not? Alright, we are going to have to rest uh, probably two days, maybe three days in camp. At least two. Actually, we have tons of supplies. Let's just rest three days. That's fine. All right, let's do it. All that extra renown is going to be awesome. Morgay comes to you, sporting a dour expression. There are more warriors than usual claiming illness lately. I think they're faking it. I've seen them vomiting or stumbling around. Humans seem to be suffering from it. I don't think they're. I don't think they're faking it. Anything, but I think for some of our rations, maybe I'm poisoned. Oh, yeah, fine, nothing. Might not be the food, see if we can find some other connection. A couple hours later, it comes to you. I don't see any pattern to it. Some of the sick and face dread, while others haven't. It's my tired, while others don't, and rested. I don't want it to be the food. I don't have to throw away rations. That's, that's what it'll come to. Luden has been uh, sending scouts out ahead. Quicker and more nimble than our far. One rushes back to each person in Dredge, that direction. About a day away, they found a village. Tearing the place apart. Maybe a thousand of them or more, looking for God knows what. This will be a bigger fight than usual. Luden, uncharacteristically silent, waiting to see what you say. Now let's uh, draw some of them forward. And a small group of shield bangers to the attention. They do. Half a day later, many dredge are giving chase up the hill uh, in their prodding sort of way. You are ready to lay waste. We still outnumber them. Let's uh let's charge ahead. Get ourselves more renown. All that extra experience is gonna be awesome. I'm happy with this party. Like, it's not amazing, but it's it's not terrible. The only thing I might change is like uh, Ludin for for Bercy, but um, Ludin is still kind of helpful, so maybe. All right, it's just a uh, special ability time, girl. Uh, yeah, let's push it forward. Might as well do as much early damage as we can. Kill him in one shot, eh? Let's 
do that. Get some armor damage, that's cute. Try and take down and strip away as much armor as possible. Um, you know what? I'm gonna. Oh, I didn't do that. Okay. Did it anyway, that's fine. It's not a bad thing, it's just I was gonna probably use her to block this passageway. But... Like I said, it's not an altogether negative thing. This guy's gonna try and summon. That's fine. We can chase after him. Who was anyone at this point? Him especially. Why not? Give him another kill. Kind of a waste of a turn on his part, but it's fine. Uh, can you? you can kill him. You can leave this dude up for loot. Eric. You can actually, you should be able to impale him, right? Finish off this dude. Bad for Luton. Um, nine damage is pretty good. Spin as well. Might as well do that. Uh, I should have done it level two. Absolutely should have done that level two. Fine though. Just gonna finish him off with something else. If that didn't deflect, he was dead. It was kind of long for us. Okay. Oh, yes, to kill him. Stop moving him around. Again. Stop stripping away armor from this dude. Because we're actually quite good at this time. We'll have another fight just ahead of us as well. Clad's gonna fight is no losses and only one injury. That's pretty good. Plus 10 renown. I'm down with that. This is a fight waiting to happen here as well. 
In the village, uh, still a day away, you're eating on the march. A vile approaches. We had words earlier, says Chris. You recall him claiming that he didn't care for your command. You were right in what you did. Let me join the guard and fight by your side. You got one shot. Let's camp for a sec. I just want to level up some people. We do have that option now. Uh, somebody took an extra, uh, uh, an extra kill was there. Actually, a few of them did. So I'm gonna replace Eric because uh, he's injured. Gris. Promote you. Uh, now you're a shield master. Your abilities bring pain. Plus one return the favor. Let's go, let's just give him some of that. Yes. Uh, promote you for sure. Chuck him in there. That'd be 15 as well. Yeah, might as well. Actually, it's Bursi. We haven't even used Bursi. Uh, fuck it. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Uh, Hark on. I'm gonna give Hark on another level. It's 15, but it'll end up being worth it. Um, something like that. Alright, I'm down with that. Let's do that. Rest of a day. Let's just get morale back on track. We're not using Eric in the fight at the moment, so his injury doesn't really matter. Like to keep them all high. You're close enough to hear the dredge rattling through houses below. Pulling, pull them out of the houses, Morgan suggests. Slide can't resist an ambush. We'll have better luck in open fields. Uh, take the fight to them. Yeah, we still outnumber them. Same again, boys. Fuck it. We don't want to rethink. We're just going to charge. Getting people more leveled up and getting more kills is going to be the way forward here. I wonder if we can do this without, uh, without Yursa dying this time. Put everyone back. It's not like that. Make them come to us. Uh, actually, it's not. Move her forward first. To them. And then. Just like that. Let them come to us. Rest and give them a little more will. Side, we'll let another one, that'll let another person kind of come up here and, and start hurting them as well. You guys at the back still have a, a kind of ways to go to get to us. That's fine by me. Come 
Show down some armor. Allow kind of our, our, our weaker humans to kind of have a bit more of an impact in the fight. Stripping the armor away a little bit, that'll give us the opportunity. Kill him. Get him out of the fight. Get him out of here. We're done here, boys. Now who's this? Yeah, let's strip away that armor a little bit more. Make sure we have to kill this guy like on uh, on Frogman's next shot. Push him up here. Again, start stripping away the armor. Oh, fuck off. Oh, you have oh, zero armor. Okay, I was gonna say, you have zero strength? What the fuck? How are you still alive? I don't want them getting to get him to die if we can avoid it. Beautiful. Oh, that's a heavy hit. Let Loon come up here and do as much as uh, he can. Hawk on, come up here and do as much damage as possible. Yeah, we're going to try and have a Hawk on, which is interesting. Up there, that means he can attack. Oh my god, really? Alright. She just never does anything good for me. I swear. Strength is still pretty high. Annoyingly high. This guy, we're gonna have to try and focus down now, I think, which is even more annoying. Okay, what does Ring Pain do? Breaks. That's probably actually worth it. That way, you can probably come up and make go, I'm hoping. Yeah, cool. Take away the rest of his armor, so he has none left. I can say Archon's probably about to go down, that's fine. Kinda wanna leave this guy for Luden if we can. Get him a little bit more experience. Finish him off. Dead. If he runs so far away that the loot on like can't get him, I'm getting annoyed. Now there we go. Beautiful. Uh now nah, we'll pull back. Pretty hard. Oh yeah, Hawthorne went down as well. I'm trying to remember what our second casualty was. Bodies blanket the area as though the snow itself has turned black and red. You walk between clusters of survivors taking account of your worries. Eventually you cross paths with Morgan. This was a tough one, he said. Hope we don't face worse the further we go. This could be a hint of things to come, you not. Check the village. There are wounded, gathered. You head towards what is left of the village. Move the wounded. You wander through a small village where there has been a cacophony of battle before. Now an airy silence takes over the place. Bodies of dredge and villagers make a macabre path of creature houses that have been ripped apart by the tornado. Oh, 
woman scream, dies in her throat by the side of Vaz, and a dredge. Men and women are huddled together, a baby cries from the shoulder, clearly awed to see this many warriors. What do they do now? Got distracted and cleared the way. Strand. Even if they make it there in one piece, the locals will tear them apart. Not literally, of course. Well, maybe literally. I might join them. Go on. Then I will. Lost Eric. That's fine. He just kept dying anyway. We weren't using him. Uh, let's take a look at the market. See what we can get. Uh, plus two will per rest. Meh. Plus one mil. will. Meh. Meh. Plus one arm, plus two armor per turn is pretty good. And knockback on strength. Um, I kind of want both. We'll get this one. And then we'll get some supplies. First time until people are healed. There we go. I think our highest level at the moment is three. What do we do with a four? We do have a couple of things actually. Archon, you can uh, sure add that. Uh, let's give that to you, so maybe more armor might help her. Help her not die immediately. Look how pretty this is. See strands down there in the distance. You hear a shout echo in the wind, a stranded Val, a uh, standard Val greeting. Caravan of Val are heading your direction, probably a few hundred in total. You have to halfway. Must be Vogner. Was. Vogner didn't make it. Varnished Guild Banner. What's happening? Isn't Ulfa in charge there? Ulfa is skilled. In case. Uh, in case he needs. To me. He sent me to meet Vodni. Well, you. No dredge. I came through skills, but we're falling out of ritual. Fort Bay. Maybe. So whether that will account for some other damned invasion. You be careful. What did you start? You men that remember history. Wrong banner. Second Great War nearly screwed us all. What did you do this time? <laughs> 330 vial behind me. Right, let's find out what's happening in Rachel. Ready this far. This is the Val is doing. I'll know if it's so much far. <laughs> Knock him out cold and send him away. I lay the prince flat now. Walk away. Plus 330 Val. Very nice. It's a hefty army. We get fired youth. I'm in a hurry. I found out what's wrong with the sick bar. Food's not poisoned, it's spoiled. Bad fish. Guess you can get more soon. fighting until they're recovered. I hope that isn't... I hope there's not going to be worse repercussions for that. That would be bad. The hag approaching the godstone is murder. 
You recall how most godstones were built on hills overlooking other godstones, so travellers could follow them and find their way in the city. It does nothing to ease your pains. Dredge! Ah, oh, fucking slingers. You still outnumber them. Uh, you start comparing weaknesses and strengths, taking into account terrain, morale, look at the enemy. If you're careful, you should be able to keep the forces balanced. Luden actually has a level up. We might do that. Uh, let's give him something like that. Alright, slingers, slingers fucking everywhere. I hate slingers. Something like that is probably good. So like that. Goods. Nice. Oh, did we actually? Oh, that one died. Fuck yeah. That's sick. At least they have relatively low health and armor, so we can kill them pretty quickly. Just a very annoying enemy to fight. Attack this one. Do five armor damage. That's pretty good. You know what? Let's start just moving. Let's just start moving this guy. Hopefully, these two can deal with the remaining slingers over here. It's annoying. It's fine. That doesn't bother me that much. You know what? Uh, you should be able to. Set him up there. He has less armor, to my thought. Wouldn't matter. That's annoying. I was really hoping to let her get another kill so we could give her more like, armor so she wouldn't die as quick. It's alright. Wow, we just got deflected there. That's pretty good. What was I going to spend on that? I 
Demons are nice because they can get across the battlefield pretty quickly. That's it. You just don't have any willpower. You should be able to kill him. Uh, we're actually not in a terrible position. Let's uh, let's kill a few more. You're really not in a terrible position. the bits that he, he would have just used there. That's fine. It's what I expected. over here and start dealing with this. Yeah, you guys slam. Oh, it only hit one of us. Okay. I thought I was, yeah, I thought that was going to hit more. I'm okay with it, though. I'm not complaining. Okay, I start clearing out the big dude's armor. Probably weak enough to start killing. Yeah, for sure now. Yeah. Beautiful. to those. Surprise Val pulls weapons, but not before the whole card slides off the rock and a sheer drop. The enormous metal wagon dangles precariously from a cliff. From the end swings a confused yox, still tied to the reins. On top, the dredge that hangs on tight, keeping the whole thing from plummeting. Hangs on tight, keeping the whole thing from plummeting over the side. One white hand, uh, white knuckling hand, uh, one white knuckling 
one hand, white knuckling the car, oh my god, got there eventually, the other wrapped around a tree trunk. You grab the cart and pull, barely make any ground. When a trees when the trees holding onto tears from the ground, dragging you a terrifying force towards the edge. Uh, let go. With a roaring sound that sounds more like you stabbed him in the side, but gave him an order. Grinnolf lets go of the cart. It flips over the side in a flash, followed much later by a dull thud and a crack. At the base of the cliff, hundreds of yards below, the treasure cart explodes into the frozen firework of gold, valuable and gold valuables and yoks <laughs> and drench gore. That was a costly mistake, presuming to be drenched teeth. Sup, Quack, welcome back, man. You wonder why that dredge went after the Yorks in the first place. You realize it's a bigger problem, and the vast fortune now lying at the bottom of the cliff. What choice do we have? Even if we gather it up, it's got, no, we've got nothing to hold. So it's undefeated. But resolve to moving on. You begrudgingly set off, leaving the king's ransom. Everyone stops. Godstone looming overhead for a short rest. These warriors, the warriors are glad for it. The stone gives you ancient sense of being watched over in a comforting way. Didn't help the bodies underneath it though. The earth at the base of the godstone is scarred, like a struggle in the Merchants, no dredge. Circling Dengla are goods, a variety of goods. Barrel of meat, who knows how old. Loose silver, statue made of soapstone, offering to the dead. Was always one of the favorites amongst men. The god, uh, good, the god of good fortune. They believed he brought luck, wealth, or whatever else you wish you had, but couldn't get on your own. The word fortune has a lot of meaning. Has a lot of meanings. Eventually, he won. Silicon level up. We're gonna do that. Just give her more armor, more health. Basically, we're trying to keep her alive. Gris can level up. Strong arms are good. I like strong arms, so. For sure. We have 22 left. Is that enough to get Harkon to level 5? It is. Nice. Let's do it. Um, give him more strength. Alright. Sick. Love it. We got this, uh, which is knockback. Let's give that. Um, that. Let's rest until people are healed. Kind of have to. Great morale, people are healed. We've done a level up, so let's move on. In the distance, you see smoke rising from the trees. Dredge aren't known for setting fires. Let's get their attention. Yeah, but we, uh, they wise up that after a while. It's just no worry. Or it could be someone trying to get our attention. Sense of power, take a look. Okay, send a few warriors to look. Spirit of the hill, keep a steady pace. They don't reappear. 
for yourself. Ready yourself for a fight. That's like while for declaring open up hundreds of vile sit near a fire, including the ones you sent to investigate, one pops on. Hark on, it's you. Your warrior said you wouldn't leave them, he explains. They had come from Shield and they were surrounded. Then lit a fire when they spotted you. Sorry, it had to miss a fight, he grins, as the warriors rejoined the caravan. Nice bunch mobile. That's great. Got some warriors disappearing. And I'm certain some of them are missing. Mostly my men. Mostly men, but some vile too. Can't quite figure it out. Uh, Sounds clean. Luton ordered it. Of course you can. And with that gold from the card you left behind, there's a problem. Uh, humble is stupid. Money turns over No. They're claiming the gold. He takes no orders from us either. Like, I'm not using it You leave no doubt in looting the mine that another time of this one in peace for you. Rory is the man to break. You hold the caravan with a side, and all honesty is starting to feel the altitude of weariness yourself. Morgan leans on a fallen tree. Fiddling with a crust of bread. Getting colder. He says, starting the distance. You see ridge horns start to peak across the mountain. A flock of ravens float across the sky and a clear sky towards the fort. We should follow those birds. But another word, Morgai starts running around, running towards the birds and tumbles over the cliff. Suddenly he's gliding through the air, flapping his wings for all they're worth. He swoops towards Ridgehorn before bursting into flames and plummeting to the tower, which crumbles like a log, fallen, a log from a smoldering campfire. I think maybe we fell asleep. You think you've lost your mind? Then you wake up. You don't remember setting up camp or falling asleep in front of crackling logs. What's going on? <laughs> they both saw that. We don't have anything else to do. Yeah, let's, we'll rest a couple days just get my roll back up. I'm sure there's plenty in front of us too, but we're just half a day out from the thick woods and we're losing them. Uh, start number them. Let's, uh, fuck it, let's charge them. Rush into battle, let's go. Pretty happy with our team right now. We can keep rolling with them. Yes, this kind of keeps going down, but oh shit, it's running. This is cool. Uh, they don't want her off by herself. Something like that. Damage, that's pretty good. <coughs> we use Ludin to chip away at the armor. We use our Vial to, to finish them off. Oh, no, no, oh, there we go. 
over here. Got there eventually. Get rid of some armor. One nice and quick. It's a uh, just puncture. pretty weak now which is nice Move her up. Uh, take some armor off this dude it's pretty much the rest of his armor done now Oh god damn it, movement's in the way. Fuck. Where's the grease of the world? How long we can do it for him standing there anyway? That's expected. We can actually kill that one, which is nice. Get him the extra willpower. We're actually doing okay. We can probably take another wave, I think. Harkon will still manage to do some good there, though. Yeah, for sure. Turn one of the big guys, we've got one of the big guys left. It's really the only threat uh, at this point. Moving her there is very risky. She'll probably take a hit, but really have a choice. Oh wow, you moved up fast. Two of them, like they're both really wounded, but we should be able to at least bring him down. I'm gonna use Harkon to come over here and, and full, uh, full stall this one. Look, I'm not hey, getting 20 cents, 20 cents, right? Aww. Phew, I'm finally the, the home stuff. and already greeted with Windows Sound Craig as of nine months already. Happy Twitch Love Child Anniversary. L U L Asmal, hello. Let's kill the rest of his armor now. Hey, she can get promoted now, which is really nice, although she's oh, 
Thought she was about to get absolutely nuked. He's only wounded. He actually. Yeah, he can't even take down our, our wounded guy there, which is nice. Ludin being the only person going down is uh, exceptional. Yeah. Oh, pushing him there is great, though. Yeesh. Uh, let's. Uh, yeah. I, I gave them my bank details, so. Just waiting on that now. Yeah, Yos is actually pretty set up to do well here. Which is nice, because she hasn't previously. Yes. A shame. Kind of to be expected, though. Between Harker and Yos, and we take this guy down. Not that much of a problem. Save the injury that would have come if we, if we didn't just finally kill him. Got a leather flask, eh? No. 17 renown. It's a nice juicy amount. So, let's set camp for a second. Heal our injuries, level up some people. Continue. Uh, maybe we'll give a two more armor break. Having archers of armor break is really helpful. What well, we need three days rest. And the. Inside the woods, the more distinct sense you have, the more dredge. The, the dredge have you more or less surrounded. In great numbers, their dark shapes create unsettling, unsettling patterns. They slide between trees in every direction. At least it's not as bad as it could have been if you hadn't taken out a good portion of them already. You think to yourself, and here it is. Pray to whatever god you like. There's more of them waiting on the other side of the woods than we've seen so far. But we may be pretty seriously outnumbered, especially if we wait. What if, she says, patting her arrows knowingly, you could set part of the woods on fire to draw their attention while you escape or draw them into a trap? Let's, uh, let's create a forest fire as a distraction. You escort your, uh, about an hour's track to the far edge of the tree, she sets a few soaked rags to your location. The volume of fighting arrows, the rags catch in dramatic fashion, sending up an area. We'll hightail it back to the caravan when Morgar is already reporting the dredge are heading towards the fires. He cackled with delight, but uh, reinforcing the nickname the father has given her to the After a long hour, half hour, their numbers are thin. We've got to get out of here before that really spreads. Break through the trees and plow into the dredge who have remained behind, hoping to cut through them before anyone else notices. Oh, yeah, we can. Uh, we can just fucking charge straight in. Yeah, that's nice. This has been a very, uh, very heavy fighting part. Um, chapter 3, or whatever it is, has been a, a lot of fighting. For sure. I've got two of them. I've got two of them, little bitches. Oh, that's pretty cute. Alright, yes, sir. Look, I'm not getting 20 cents. Oh, the fuck is Aw, Abby. Thank you. Casa, welcome back to the sub man. 
Big guy's making his way up. Let's just nuke this dude. Kinda can, so we might as well. You put yourself in a terrible position there, mate, because you're dead. It's already, there's only one of them now. I've already stripped away over half its armor. This is pretty bad for it, really. Newton, if you can take away the rest of its armor, that'd be fantastic. Alright, we can definitely take another fight. Uh, kill a few more as they flee. We barely took a hit there. And only just so two more, two more small ones showed up. doing the right thing by coming off of the weakest target, but uh, it's just not going to work out very well for them. Pretty dead regardless. Size of the vial kind of make him a little bit annoying to move around. Kill it. One left. Shouldn't be that much of a problem. Yeah, I'm dead. Beautiful. Found a singing stone. No injuries to us or our men. Only nine renown though. It's fine. It really wasn't that hard of a battle, so nine renown is probably okay. Strong place though. We have over a thousand vial, almost 200 fighters. We're in a pretty strong place. So this is where the dredge have been coming from. Where they've been seen. about. So a full-scale bell battle actually happened and recently, but only dredge bodies remain. Maybe we'll see something from the tower. Have Vile search the building and make sure there are no dredge waking spawns. Don't set up camp. We'll make a fire. We'll take a look around and then get out of it when anything else goes wrong. You mean. 
This is where we find the Mender, right? Pretty sure. Uh, more gear should level up. Give me more armor. Pain the ass. There's the menders. There's the people we're looking for. Um, probably want to try and wrap up the like left flank, uh, right flank as quickly as we can. We might put our humans over there. Kind of pain to get through on this side though. So maybe we'll do something like this. That's annoying. Should have thought that through better. He's pretty quick. We'll move him up as quickly as we can. Burning a lot of, uh, lot of will inside the battlefield already. Try and get into into combat as quickly as we can. If we can catch the slingers. They're probably just dead. Should have paid it into our turn order when we place them, that's on me. This guy's annoying, I knew he could do that. Fuck that. Well, from Secret to Glow, get back. Half on the path on the beach. It's a nice long walk. Yeah, so he's dead now. Finally gonna start killing off some of those slingers. Kill this one back. Uh, this guy to come down and kill that slinger. Once again, just start stripping the armor away where possible. He's probably just dead. I think once he arrives, he's actually moved towards him as well, which is kind of handy and uh, kind of helpful for us. Disgusting. He's dead. Good job, Yursa. You kind of caused that. You was a catalyst there. Don't throw them that way. Fuck! I can't run away that way, really. Each explosion causes two shield, two armor, two armor, and two strength damage. If we kill them, do they go away? Probably not. that I was really expecting them to. Yeah, he moved that way, which is nice. 
That means we can actually kind of run away from this. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to run far enough. I don't think so. Ah, oh, fuck, we should probably should have used the uh, will on it. I can't imagine it does feel very good. Oh, that's unfortunate. We, I mean, I'm not going to be going for that much longer anyway. Uh, I'll try to get to the end of this chapter, and then uh, we're going to call it there for, for now. Uh, we can't even push him up, which is even more annoying. Actually, this thing might have to be alive to, to trigger it, even. That is possible. Taking those off first. You lean on a crumbled wall, watching endless waves of dredge marching below. Satisfied, Hakon? Morgan asks. A vast number of dredge remind you of the great wars. I've seen enough, you reply. Let's get out of here. Mog stands over the body of the man and the woman. Uh, think the slag came up here for these two? Waving his bloodied weapon in their direction. Search them. Morgue leans down to pat down the man's tunic. He stops and frowns, press one against the man's chest, and swings breathing. He says, pulling up right, she wasn't so lucky. He says, looking over the woman. A clang of metal reaches you from the courtyard below, muffled by thick snow. You curse. Quick, back down. Bring my live one. Ah, oh, we, we outnumber them fucking easily, mate. Outnumber them easily. This should be a relatively easy fight. Um, do we have enough? We do. Yeah. Ooh. That was quite as easy as I was hoping. That's fine. A lot of big fuckers. Maybe we'll kind of do something like this. Same problem as our uh, our Val do. Maneuvering is going to be a pain in the ass. Push up. might not go well for us. Destroy the last of this guy's armor. Good, just woke up. Sleep in, or is it like actually just time for waking up where, wherever you live? Because I can't remember where you live. I think we've had this conversation before. But I can't. Yeah, he's fucked. Ludens down. 
8 a.m. in love. Cool. Yeah, just time to wake up then. <laughs> Nothing that special. I mean, look, he stripped away some armor from his friends as well as us, so it's not terrible. It's not the worst outcome. Boy, six armor from one hit, that's not bad at all. Yeah, this guy has to die before he summons. Oh, kill him one hit, beautiful, that's the way. Uh huh, uh huh. Push her up, she's in a bad place, but she can probably kill this one. Basically, all of his armor gone, which is nice. Okay, I mean, we've wounded quite a lot of them now. Oh, so close. At least he's not going to be able to do much. It's pretty, pretty combat ineffective now. Gotta worry about the others, though, because they're, they're still going to chomp away. Um, that's alright. This guy at the back here is still looking incredibly healthy. And it is uh, concerning. Stripping my armor away from his friends as well. I'm not. Not that, uh, not that not okay with that. Kill it in the middle. Okay, Chris is in trouble. It's 2v3 though, so we're still looking alright. Pretty significant amount of damage as well. 8 damage coming in for one hit. And he's still, okay, yeah, he's still like full, fully healthy. Uh, you need to move away though. to kill him, I think. They're both pretty much healthy, so... Yeah, there we go. Done. Done, done. There we go. Some injuries, which isn't great, and we're definitely not going to fight more. Uh, pull back on Next time I look down, Dredge is swimming into the courtyard. Not really, unless we want to wait in the valley, we're going to have to leave the same way we came in. Spell weavers. Ah, we should probably rest. Now, fine, let's just go. Let's just push on. The heavy snow may act in our favor. You kind of have to push on, like, you can't wait. You know, 
and bait the dredge and track and wear them down, break through the front lines and don't stop, and shield bangers forward and fight defensively. Go all out, strike hard and drive them off. Uh, let's send shield bangers to fight. And we might be able to force our way through the narrow pass, but it's not very position. Could be a safe option, depending on exactly on how many are out there. Gather your shield bangers at the front of the group and push forward, bashing maces and exploding trap. With a few casualties, the caravan crossed the land bridge and now it's made to fight your way out. As Morgan predicted, they surround you in every direction and start cracking heads as soon as the shields give way to the crush of enemies pushing past. Alright, our injuries are going to be a problem. Let's switch out Luden. It's going to sound like that. It's probably going to give us the best chance. I think. Okay, this will work. Oh, I should have the second, second one up. thing is that Luden is actually pretty good uh, versus the Slingers. He's obviously out of the fight right now. Where did that go? Oh, it's underneath him. Okay. Some hurt there. Gonna need to bail hard when I don't fight. Yeah, I love the game. I love everything about it. The animations are definitely very good. Yes! Really hoping you could use two world legends to kill him. Very low on armor, the big dude. Okay, we're starting to put him down. This is good. This guy's dead as well. Yeah, cool. We win. That wasn't too bad. It wasn't as bad as I was expecting. Promotion now. Harkon is injured for even longer. First wave of dredge out of the picture, you take stop and take stock of the battlefield. Your warriors are doing well, uh, doing as well as you could have hoped. Fortunately, uh, there were enough of them to pull it off. The dredge are furious but falling quickly. 
You think you can stay a safe distance away from them at this point. You're almost free of this nightmare. What do you do? Get out of there. Take stock of the survivors. It hurts to think of how many you lost to get this far. With nothing but an unconscious mender to show for it. You only hope it was worth it. We are going to end the stream when the, uh, the next chapter end rolls around, guys. Basically got to Grofheim, guys. Got to the Vile Capital. The prime city. Hakon, join me for a moment. There's something I want you to see. It's a welcoming party from Grofheim bearing mead. It's about the only thing I want to see. No luck. The Mender woke up. Awesome, it's Dario from Grofheim. We found you in a tower in Ridgehorn. What are you doing there? Grofheim, no, no, that's the wrong way. Juno, where is she? The woman I was with? She didn't make it, friend. We only brought the living with us. I don't think so. You barely made it out two weeks ago. Do you think, uh, do you know why the dredge were calling over Ridgehorn? Dredge, we have to go back. The damned graveyard boy. Sorry, Edwin. The girl was dead when we got her. What we have to do is tell John Dor. John, uh, jo, jo, Runder, jo Runder, what is happening? And prepare for a bloody war. So if you, she's dead. I couldn't save her. I couldn't save her. Edwin suddenly looks spent. He slips to the ground. Motion for some vial to help him with his cart. Not that I had hoped for. Not sure what I was looking for. Come. The sooner we get to Grofheim, the better. Dread grips me as we approach Grofheim. None of us expected to see a city unscathed. But what we find steals the very breath from my lungs. Grafine is gone, boys! The Val capital completely destroyed. Alright, everybody. That is about where I'm gonna end it up uh, for today's stream. That is the end of the chapter. Um, so we uh, we got to the start of chapter four today. So we've got three chapters done. Um, we I'm gonna do I'm gonna basically play through this entire game on stream. So um, if you guys have liked uh, what you have seen today, um, make sure you, you tune in for the next one because we will be doing more. Um, and also, uh, I'm going to play through the second and third game as well, um, because they, they have been released as well. Uh, I am going to upload the, the VODs of this to my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm going to divide it up into chapters and upload it via chapter, uh, per chapter. So, um, if you guys want to check out that, if you've missed any of the start of the game or anything like that, you can always uh, swing by the YouTube um, and you know, check it out there. Um, and I'm going to do that for, for all three games, hopefully, basically upload them. Uh, by chapter. Um, if you are hanging out and you're not already, feel free to join the Discord, um, like Abby has beautifully linked for us. Um, and of course, if you aren't already, uh, make sure you follow the channel to get those sweet, sweet notifications of when we do go live. Um, yeah, I, if you've enjoyed, I hope to see you around. Until then, peace.